Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'm really excited to show you swatches of the Natasha Denona 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. This is under $100, 10 eyeshadows. It comes in her same packaging with her vinyl leather patent white finish. I love this. I think it's so easy to keep clean as well. I know you'd think that it would get really dirty, but it wipes off so well. And it does have a mirror. You can see that. And then you can see how it's laid out right there. So I'm going to swatch everything for you here in a minute. So if you are interested in that, then stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that. I do feature a lot of Natasha Denona products as well as other luxury brands here on my channel and my blog, aglitterylife.com. So if you're new, welcome. If you're newly new, welcome, welcome. And if you have been around since the beginning, girl, you are my ride or die and I'm so thankful for you. So irregardless, go ahead and leave me a comment down below telling me like how long you've been around, if you're new, not new, whatever. Just tell me something about your life because I love knowing about you guys. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like swatch videos, if you find those helpful. I like swatch videos, but I really love swatch blog posts. So if you would like to see this posted up on a glitterylife.com, let me know as well. But let's do this. Let's see some swatches of this bad boy. I love these palettes. I love Natasha's stuff so much. Okay, I'm going to swatch the top row first. And this is anthracite some of these names y'all i'm not even kidding are really hard to tell like hard to pronounce and you can see that is a really beautiful kind of like smoky gray next to it is graphite which is one of her metals shadows one of her metallics Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. These two would be such a great combination. This you could just easily blow out in the crease and pack graphite then all over the lid. Ooh, for a, a very a spacey eye look. That would be beautiful. Speaking of space. Speaking of space, this next one is blue space. This is also a metallic. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And this is really a perfect blue if you're going to do an all navy look for her new um, blue, like blue, what am I trying to say, for the new blue star liners. Next is deep teal. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this one. I think you're going to love this as much as I do. Also a metallic. And... Gosh, it's just they're so beautiful they're so pigmented oh, I just I love them I just I think in terms of quality and performance Natasha shadows can they're unbeatable okay this next one is slate and this is also a metallic and I can feel that this one is definitely that real pressed pigment texture and so um, would probably be best used by with a finger and not a brush because otherwise you're going to get some real fallout for that one. Oh gosh, but that's so beautiful. Such a gorgeous purple, a really, really nice, like deep purple. Those swatches right there on my arm are the top row. And now let's flip it around and move to the bottom row for swatches. So pretty. Start with light coral. This is a metallic and this one also has that really pressed like pigment texture to it. So once again, would be probably best used with a finger, just pressing that onto the eye. And I, yeah, just really pressing that onto my arm right there instead of like trying to like swipe it. Oh gosh, really pretty. I love anything in that like rosy gold shade. And that one is so pretty. It looks, those look so beautiful just on like the lid, especially if you have blue eyes like I do. Okay, next to it is Aurora. This is one of my favorite uh, shadows that Natasha has in her whole collection. And this one has a lot of fallout if you don't press it. If you, this is not like a, these because they're, this palette is mostly her metallics. You really want to use your finger when working with these. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that kind of reflect the light. I hope you can see this. I know that light is pretty bright kind of blowing these out a little bit, but I really hope you can see how pretty that is. Next is Pearl, and this is really pretty in terms of just like a highlight color, 
like a lid color. Oh, just so pretty. Especially if you're just trying to do like a really nice like neutral look, that pearl color is perfect. That shade is just so beautiful. And I just love that it, it is a great, it's more of a neutral, so you could really work it in with any of these like deeper shades. Let's move on to raw gold. You're gonna freak out, you guys. This one is so bananas. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. It looks like liquid gold. It's so, I, I just cannot even with this one. And then finishing off this palette is Dark Sepia, which is really beautiful to define and deepen a crease. And it has more of that, like, it's a little bit more of that her, she has some shadows that have that like sheer wash of color, but it is so perfect with uh, raw gold, just blowing your crease out with that and then just packing this all over the lid for literally that like, just an otherworldly next planet Oh my gosh, next level eye. But I love dark sepia. It's just really easy to work with. And it's a really nice, I wouldn't consider it a transition color, but it's really nice just to carve out that crease and deepen it and really kind of smoke out that lower lash line without just feeling like you're getting too metallic. So mm, what a great palette. A lot of people don't talk much about this palette. It's definitely, I would say, underrated in the YouTube world and really beautiful, really easy to work with. And is also a great compliment if you have some of the more neutral five pan palettes, or if you have even have the green, brown or purple, blue, uh, this is gonna complement either one of those palettes. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Once again, thumbs up and let me know what you think about this palette. Have a great day, you guys. See you later.